I'm Amy the Amazonian, and this is a video about expressing yourself with cosmetics in Magic the Gathering Arena. The best place to start when you're customizing your loadout in Arena is up on the Profile tab. Here, you'll be able to set the defaults for your avatar, sleeve, and pets, and you'll be able to choose which emotes you can use in-game. I'm going to start by showing off avatars. Avatars are the first thing that your opponent sees, and you can choose them to represent yourself, or maybe just a character you like, or your deck, when you're playing a game. I have Eliwick Tumblestrom from the Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set as my default avatar because she kind of looks like me, or at least emotionally she looks like me. She's super happy about getting to play magic. You can find a huge selection of different characters on the avatar page, and if you click on them, it'll give you a little bit of information about them and play a little voice clip from their Planeswalker if they happen to have Planeswalker cards. If you're looking to unlock more avatars to use, you should check out the store page. There's a separate tab on the store just for avatars, but sometimes you'll find them under bundles or the featured page as well. So if we head over to avatars here, you can see there's a brand new Oracle of the Alpha avatar. You also have Mishra, Urza, and Titania from the most recent set. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll find Elspeth, Tamio, and the Wanderer are leaving the store soon. If you're ever looking for something that you missed in the store, I recommend checking out the daily deal tabs. You can sometimes find avatars that haven't been in the store for a little while, like the ones they have right here from Strixhaven. So if you're looking to pick those up, be sure to check out the Daily Deals tab. Each Mastery Pass typically includes at least one avatar. You can see right now in the Brothers War Mastery Pass, there's the Urzan Automaton avatar on the upgraded pass. If you head over to the profile page, we'll be able to see what that looks like. Clicking on Avatars, and since I do have that upgraded Mastery Pass, there's the Urzan Automaton right there. So we're going to go back to the profile page now and take a look at sleeves. Card sleeves replace the default card back shown here with either a static image or with something that's cool and animated like this Chandra. This signet has a little shine to it. And this gingerbread woman has a bit of animation to her too. To set a sleeve as your default sleeve, meaning it will apply to any decks that don't already have a sleeve set for them, you can just Click on it on this page, and then click Set Default in the lower right corner. That will bring you back to this page. But I want to go back to the Sleeves page for just a second, because if you scroll down to the very bottom, not only will you see the huge variety of sleeves that are available, you can see which ones are currently available in the store. So these ones that have locks on them on the bottom are all currently available, and if you click on one, it'll show you a link to the store in the lower right corner. Very nice if you want a convenient way to figure out, oh, where do I get this sleeve? I will also recommend checking out the Daily Deals tab for sleeves and keeping an eye out for just general bundles of sleeves that might interest you. Some of them are from secret layers like these ones right here, and they're just so cute. So I'll also recommend that you follow Magic the Gathering Arena on various social media pages, especially on Twitter, where they'll occasionally post codes for different cosmetics. Next, I'm going to set my default pet. Going over to the Pets tab, I'm just going to select the Peaceful Pup, and then click Set Default. If you want to unlock pets, you very often have to get them through the Mastery Pass, though there's always a few of them available in the store. Pets are little tiny creatures that sit on the left or right side of the battlefield. Your pet is always on your left, and your opponent's pet is always on the right-hand side. If you want to see the pets that are currently available in the store, Kind of like sleeves, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can see which ones are available either to the store or from the Mastery Pass. I'm going to go take a look at this Soul Ring pet. If I select it and click the Store link here, it will bring me to the Pets tab in the store where you can see what is currently available. Right now, there's a rotating set of pets like this Winter Fox, only available for December. Depending on when you check the store, you can collect different pets. The last option for customization here is emotes. Emotes are a way for you to communicate with your opponent during games, either through text, stickers, or phrases. The phrases haven't been added to Arena for a while, so you may not have any of these unlocked. But if you look here in the middle, you'll see that there's a lot of different pictorial emotes. Oftentimes, there's a bundle of them available in the store. To set your default emotes, just click on the five that you want on the first page. So I'm going to deselect all of my emotes here and select five new ones. 
I want this one of Sahili Rai eating popcorn so I can react to my opponent doing cool combos or otherwise playing a really neat deck. A good game emote of the Might Stone and Weak Stone breaking apart. Um, I like Giada fading into non existence. Also, how about Oko blowing a kiss and Falco Spara pointing off with an objection? That's my first five stickers. Those will go on the first page of emotes. In the next five, I'll go for these two Valkyries, Rowan, Will, and, hmm, oh, so many choices. How about a Professor Onyx? We'll confirm those off on the right. I'm also going to add my five phrase emotes, so I have the maximum number of emotes. Now I'm going to head into a game, and you're going to see what those look like in action. Now that I'm in a game, I can use emotes by clicking on my avatar. It's always going to default with the text ones, and I can say hello to my opponent as I take my first turn. They said hello back! Oh, isn't that nice? If I want to access the other emotes I've set, just click on the left or right arrow, and you'll see the different raise emotes. And again, the pictorial emotes, the stickers, and again, the other five sticker emotes. Cosmetic customization doesn't end here. If we head over to the Decks tab, and then click on Collection, we'll be able to look at card styles. I want to look at the card style for a specific card, Shouldred. Shouldred has a lot of different art styles available for the new Shouldred the Apocalypse. If you want to look at the different styles available for a card, right click on it, and then click on the Unlock tab up here. You can see that I have unlocked the Parallax Shouldred, the Phyrexian Shouldred, and the Default Shouldred. But if I want to get this cool alternate art shouldered, I can unlock it on this page. I'm going to change from this, the parallax shouldered, to the Phyrexian shouldered. I might not be able to read it without hovering over it, but it's really cool looking when it's in play. Now you'll see here, it appears as the Phyrexian shouldered until I hover over it. You can also change card styles while editing a deck. For example, on my Jaxus deck, I'd like to apply two of the Brothers Ward cosmetics that I got for Worm Coil Engine and Precursor Golem. To do this, I'm going to go up here on top and I'm going to search for the cards. Precursor Golem. Right click on the card, toggle the style tab, and then select this to apply it. You'll see down here that changed the art of the Precursor Golem. Let's do the same thing for the Worm Coil Engine, but I'm actually going to change any unapplied styles I have in this deck by just clicking the Apply Styles button. And that swapped the Worm Coil Engine to use the Sketch Art. What's nice about the Apply Styles button is it's going to change all of the cards that you have a style unlocked for to use that style in the deck that you're currently editing. It's a really quick way to apply as many styles as possible to show your opponent how cool your deck is. I also want to change which mountain art I'm using. This is a slightly different process. I'm going to drag the current stack of mountains out of the deck, and I'm going to click on the land filter up here. Now I have a lot of different mountain arts unlocked, but I know exactly which one I want to use. So I'm going to search by the artist to find it more quickly. These mountains I'm going to add into the deck by clicking on them and then clicking suggest lands. I had 30 mountains in before, so now I'm going to adjust back down and now I've changed which mountain art I'm using in my Jaxa stack. Click the Done button, and there you go. You've customized the cards in your deck. Earlier, I showed where you could find individual card styles, but card styles are also available in bundles in the store, usually for recent sets. You can see here various schematics available for the Brothers War cards and Borderless Painlands. Very often, cosmetics will be unlocked through events or the Mastery Pass, so if there's something specific you're looking for, be sure to check frequently to see if there are new events which unlock cosmetics. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that you could set specific pets, avatars, and sleeves for each deck. You can kind of get a preview here of different avatars, sleeves, and pets that I've set for some decks. We're going to change a deck that's currently using all my defaults, the Sisterhood of Fire deck. This is a mural deck, and we're going to change it by clicking on the deck box. From this page, click on Avatars, and you'll be able to set an avatar for your deck. I'm going to choose Zeatora because this is a dragon deck, and she's a dragon. Now we're going to go to Pets, and we're going to choose a dragon. 
now I'm going to go to card sleeves and you're probably actually expecting this one coming. I'm going to pick a dragon. So now that we've dragoned out our dragon deck, you can see here it's showing a little preview of it and we're going to click done. It shows a preview of the Zeotora avatar, the dragon pet, and the dragon sleeves on the deck box. This is a really cool way to customize your decks to a theme. Now that we've decked out our deck, it's time to play some magic. When we get into the game, you're going to see our avatar, pet, and we'll be able to use emotes too. This is a great hand, so I'm going to say hello, and in comes the dragon. We've got our sleeves ready to go too, and we're going to give our opponent a little cheer. Let me scroll on over to Rowan. And I'm going to have a good game, and I hope they do too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoy setting your cosmetics as much as I did, and I hope that you put a little bit of oomph, pizzazz, and style into each of your decks. If you ever want to find my content, I'm Amy the Amazonian or Amazonian over on Twitch. I stream most days, so it's very easy to find me doing something like playing Historic Brawl with dragons. I have, I think, five different dragon decks at this point because I have a problem, and the problem is that I love dragons. Until next time, good luck, have fun, and look fabulous.